my crafty friends this is Monica from also petite welcome back to my channel in this tutorial I will show you how to make this adorable Christmas tree ornament to make this project you will need to download the free pattern from my website the link can be found in the description box below if you want to learn how to make this Christmas tree ornament then keep on watching to begin, you will have to print and cut your pattern pieces, then cut your fabric. Make sure you are using non fraying fabric such as cork, vinyl or fur leather because we are going to leave raw edges. Then you will need a marking tool, some sort of string or cord so you can hang your finished ornament multi-surface glue, fabric glue or a double-sided tape is useful today and also a hole puncher. Take one of your number one pieces and we're going to mark the placement of the stitching line where the smile is located. So what I like to do is to take my pattern piece, cut the paper along the line then when I place the paper on top, I can flip that piece over just like that and mark the placement of my stitching line, just like that. Then we're going to take this to the machine and we're going to stitch on top of that line. Next, you're going to take number five pattern piece. So that's the eyes and add some glue to the back of the fabric, just at the center. Then we're going to place it on top of our Christmas tree. So I'm going to eyeball it, but you can always look at your pattern piece or at the template to figure out the placement of your eyes. And once the glue is dry, you can take this to the machine and top stitch around the entire piece. Alright, next you can take number three pattern piece, so that's the nose. Again, add some glue or double-sided tape to the back of the fabric and we're going to place it at the bottom of the eye, somewhere around the middle. Make sure it is centered, press it with your fingers, then take this to the machine and top stitch around the entire piece. Next, we're going to take both number six pieces and add a glue to the back of the fabric. Then we can place this on top and stick that to the fabric. So I'm going to eyeball it, but again, you can use the template to find the correct place. If you want, you can leave it as it is, if your glue is strong enough. Otherwise, take this to the machine and stitch back and forth a couple of times along each eye. Next, you're going to take both of the number four pieces and add a glue to the back of the fabric. Again, just at the center. Here we go. Then we're going to place both pieces on top of our tree. So I'm going to place one here and one here. Press it with your fingers so the glue sticks to the fabric. 
and then you can take this to the machine and top stitch around both pieces. Here we go, just like that. Then you're going to take the other number one piece and glue the back of the fabric. There you go. Then take the finished piece and place it on top. Line up the edges. Press it with your fingers so the fabric stick to each other. And then when the glue dries, you can take this to the machine and top stitch around all sides. Here we go, just like that. If you have any excess fabric showing on either side, you can trim it down. So I didn't cut my fabric very precisely, as you can see, so I can trim this down. So it looks nice on both sides. Next, you're going to take one of those stars, place it on top of your template, and you want to glue the back of the fabric. Just like that. Then we're going to take our finished Christmas tree, place it on top so we know exactly where is the place of the star. Press it with your fingers. Then you can take the other star and again add some glue to the back of the fabric. and line it up on top just like that once the glue is dry you can take this to the machine and top stitch around all sides Here we go and lastly you will take your hole puncher and punch a hole somewhere around the top just like that then you're going to take your cord or a string fit it through the opening and tie both ends to secure them in place Here we go, and just like that, your Christmas tree ornament is now finished. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my other ornament designs. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box below. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.